So, hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Sanjay Khatri. In continuation of our syndrome sessions, I am here with you to discuss few more syndromes. So, these are the must-read syndrome. These are the must-read syndrome. You can see Down syndrome, Patau syndrome, Edward syndrome, Turner syndrome, Klenfelter, Noonan, Frizzi X, Williams, and D. Jones. These are the must-read syndrome. Down syndrome, we have already covered in my previous YouTube sessions. If you missed, go and look for it. Then, Turner, Klenfelter, and Noonan, I have covered in my first YouTube session. You should definitely go for this. Okay, so today we are discussing Fizilex, William, and D. George syndrome. These syndromes, Down syndrome, we need to discuss in detail. There are a lot of questions in Down syndrome. Other syndrome take only hardly 10 minutes to cover. Turner, Klenfelter, Noon, and 10 minutes is sufficient for those syndromes. Prezilex, Williams, and D. George. There are few points, typical points, which you need to know. This is the purpose of this class. So, see Williams syndrome. The Williams syndrome, they have classical elfin feces. They have classical elfin feces. What is elfin feces? Small mandibles, prominent maxilla, prominent upper lip, long philtrum, and upturned nose. You can see upper lip is prominent. Here, upper lip is prominent. You can see here. See. Upper lip is prominent. Long philtrum. Philtrum is a bridge here. Long philtrum. Chin is small. Upturned nose. Upturned nose. Frankly speaking, these features are there. But sometimes we not able to diagnose Williams syndrome only by the features. So, sometimes patient comes to us with murmur. And we do when we do an echo, echo shows supravalvar aortic stenosis. And there is a high association of supravalvar aortic stenosis with Williams syndrome. Then we go retrograde and examine the child again. This is I am telling you the truth thing. Okay. Then we can find child is having prominent maxilla, prominent upper lip, long philtrum, upturned nose. Okay. So we have to see a syndrome as a whole with the, all the feature. So first facial feature. Then they have infantile hypercalcemia. Calcium level are high in this patient. Calcium levels are high in this Williams syndrome. They have hypercalcemia, then cardiac defect, supravalvar aortic stenosis and peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. They have peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. This question comes, Williams syndrome, which is the commonest heart defect? It is supravalvar aortic stenosis, supravalvar aortic stenosis. In my class, I have discussed the commonest heart defect in Down syndrome, endocardial cushion defect. Dunan syndrome, Pulmonary stenosis. William syndrome, supravalvar aortic stenosis. Now, how it's happened? It is due to deletion in 7Q11. You need to remember this. Deletion in the chromosome, 7Q, William syndrome. Now, see, this is another important point. They are highly verbal related to their IQ. They have some degree of mental impairment, but they are very verbal, very social, very friendly. They mix up with the stranger very easily. So, this type of personality known as cocktail party personality. They are very friendly. If you talk to a patient of Williams syndrome, they are very friendly. They are very easily mixed. So, this type of personality is known as cocktail party personality. Now, a question also comes. What are other syndromes which have peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis? Now, this is the pulmonary artery. You can see right and left pulmonary artery. They goes into lung. So normally what happen when they divide, they divide like this. But sometimes what happen, they have stenosis. So they have stenosis. This is main pulmonary artery. This is right. This is left pulmonary artery. And further also, they get narrow. They get narrow. This is known as peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. Peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. It present in Williams syndrome, Noonan syndrome, Leopard syndrome. Alijelly syndrome and congenital rubella syndrome. All are the syndrome associated with peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis except which of the following syndrome is associated with peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. All are the feature of rubella syndrome. One choice will be peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. Yes, these are syndrome associated with peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. Williams, you know, I am just dealing with Williams. Noonan, I have covered in my previous sessions. What is Alijelly syndrome? Peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. 
with abnormality of the bile duct. Patient is having jaundice. Rubella syndromes we have covered in neonatology. What is leopard syndrome? L for lentiginous, skin malformations. E, ECG abnormality. O, ocular hypertellurism. P, pulmonary stenosis. A, abnormality in the genitourinary tract. R, retardation, growth retardation. And D for deafness. Just you remember leopard syndrome associated with pul peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. This is William syndrome. It takes only four, three to four minutes to cover these all the points. They have alphenthesis, infantile hypercalcemia, supravalvar aortic stenosis and peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis and deletion at 7q11 position. See the picture of the child William syndrome. They are cocktail party personality, cocktail party personality, very social, easily mixable and these are the syndrome which is associated with peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis. This is about William syndrome. Now come to Frizzylex. They show X-linked inheritance. Triple codon transmission. You have covered in biochemistry in detail. CGGG. Amino acid sequence. Triple repeat at FMR1 gene. Which is the sequence? CGG sequence. At wet where? FMR1 gene. The second commonest cause of mental retardation after Down syndrome in boys. Why I am telling in boys? Because it's X-link disease which occur only in male. Females are carrier. It is X-link disease. Fragile X syndrome. Now see, these are the classical feature of Fragile X syndrome. You need to remember these two features. Protruding air. Large air. Large ear, sorry. Macro orchidism, large testis. A mentally retarded child, mentally retarded male child having large ear, large testis. What is this? Frizzylex syndrome. What is this? Frizzylex syndrome. Other features are long face, high arch palate, hyper extensible finger joints, yeah, large testis, and hypotonia. Rest feature you can remember, but you always remember large ear and large testis. In mentally retarded, Male child, Frizzile X syndrome. Now, neurological feature, they are autistic child. Autism is there. Stereotype movement, hand flapping, ringing movements of finger. They do like this. When they sit alone, they do like this. Shyness, limited eye contact because they are autistic child. Hyperactivity is there. Seizures occur in 10% of the patient. So, this is Frizzile X syndrome. So, diagnosis require. Definitely, we need to determine CGG sequence, triple codon at FMR1 genes. So, you need to remember for biochemistry points, CGG sequence, triple codon transmission. Whenever there is a triple codon transmission, these diseases show anticipation phenomena. What is this? Severity of disease increases with successive generation. Severity of disease increases with successive generation. Severity of disease in grandfather, more severe in father, more severe in son. So how can we diagnose this? Yeah, we need to diagnose that repeat sequence. Normally, 5 to 40 repeats there, but in Frazile X, more than 200. So these things we need to remember about Frazile X syndrome. What are those? Just again, X-link disorder. Mainly X-link recessive. Few features, few patients are X-link dominant also, but mainly X-link recessive. Triple codon transmission, second commonest cause after Down syndrome. Large testis, large ear. Neuro neurological features, we need to remember if theory questions come or clinical history based question comes. They are autistic child. Seizures occur in 10% of the patients. To diagnosis, we require to demonstrate CGG repeat at FMR1 gene location and repeat is more than 200. William Dunn, Frizzile X syndrome done. Now come to d -Jor syndrome. d -Jor syndrome shows 22q11 deletion syndrome. Another name for d -Jor syndrome is 22q11 deletion. Another is catch 22 and velocardiofacial syndrome. You need to remember all these three names. This is very important. Two year back, question was there in d -Jor syndrome in all India. And aims also. Now see, you need to remember what is the catch. C, cardiac defect, interrupted aortic arch, truncus arteriosus, 
tetralogy of phalanx. These all anomalies I have discussed in my cardio class. I will again discuss in my future cardiac class. These three conditions associated with commonest cardiac defect with catch D. George syndrome. There are few more pulmonary atresia, doubly committed VSD, but you need to remember these three commonest interrupted aortic arch, truncus, and TOF associated with D. George syndrome. A. Abnormal phases. T. Thymic aplasia, which leads to T cell immunodeficiency. C. Cleft palate. H. Hypoparathyroidism. Hypocalcemia. The question come, which of the following is true? They have written in one choice, thyroid hypoplasia. Thyroid is not hypoplastic. In D. George syndrome, what happened? Thymic aplasia, thymic gland involved and parathyroid gland involved. Hypoparathyroidism leads to hypocalcemia. In Williams syndrome, hypercalcemia. D. George syndrome, hypocalcemia. So these are the few points you need to remember about these few classical syndrome. So today we have covered Williams, Frizilex and D. George. These are the points. D. George, you need to remember the catch. You need to remember the catch. And deletion occur at 22Q11. 22Q11. In Williams, deletion occur at 7Q. In D. George, 22Q. So catch. What is catch? Cardiac defect, abnormal phases, thymic aplasia, cleft palate and hypoparathyroidism hypocalcemia. This is the way, this is the way, how we approach the syndrome. We should know what are the things we supposed to know. So if you, just if you are reading, casually you see this class, YouTube class on syndrome, it will take just 10, 12 minutes of yours, okay? Three syndromes is over for all. All the MCQs in previous year exams is from this text, okay? So go through my previous classes also about Down syndrome, Turner, Klenfelter, each Class is 15 minutes only and you have a great idea of all this syndrome. So, where you can find me? You can find me. I am taking the concise batch course of pediatrics in which I cover whole the pediatrics from 13th July to 31st July. Total 15 sessions of pediatrics there. I will cover the whole pediatrics. This is my telegram group. You can join me, interact me, ask your query on my telegram group. If you want to join, you can use my code. Dr. Sanjay K to get additional discount on your subscription. So something about an academy. Yeah, an academy have some great things for you for need PG preparation. Okay, so they are coming with some free classes. These classes are free. So anyone can join. So that fast revision, previous year questions, quizzes, clinical MCQs. So I have taken this class three cardiology clinical MCQ, nephrology clinical MCQ, neurology clinical MCQ which give you an idea, a taste of an academy, with the top educator. If you read, uh, listen to another faculty class, radiology, patho, pharma class, microbiology class, biochemistry class, you fall in love with an academy. See that all the top educators are taking these classes. So this is the free classes to just give you taste of an academy, this type of online teaching. So few more YouTube sessions, five MCQ in 15 minutes, image based sessions, case studies, so each and every faculty coming with the nice images in their subjects, pathology, forensic medicine, biochemistry. They discuss the good images, medicine, surgery, pediatrics, myself. I am discussing the image based sessions also, four, five sessions in a month. So now the pattern is changing. Lot of image based questions are coming. So you find all the typical images in those sessions. This is our syndrome session. So I am taking the syndrome class. So just go and read these classes. Enjoy these classes, YouTube classes, free sessions. These all are free just for you people to give you a taste of an, an academy. When you attend these classes, definitely you fall in love with an academy. Then you will definitely subscribe the channel. So, okay. So what you need to do, if you can subscribe for one month, three months, six months, 12 months as per your need. You people are more techno savvy than me. Go to the app and subscribe whatever according to your need. So our ultimate aim, let's crack it. Let's crack it. So let's crack it with all the educators, with me, pediatrics. If you use, if you join, use you can use my code, Dr. Sanjay K. So you get additional discount. So keep reading. Hope you like this class. Thank you.